Hello there, welcome to the Air Gun Gear Show. In this episode, I'm going to show you a full powered Hunter. It's ideal as a starter air rifle or something to add to an ever growing armory. And do you know what? It retails at less than half the price of a modern games console. What is it, I hear you ask? It's this the SMK XS38 underlever spring powered air rifle. The one I've got here is in 2 2. Underlever air rifles are sometimes regarded as slightly more accurate as opposed to their brake barrel cousins. I'm not going to get into that as a row, all I'm going to tell you is that this is a target buster. The Beach hardwood stock comes in a high polished finish throughout. And that stock is topped off with a nice deep rubberized shoulder pad. It has an auto safety mechanism which engages every time you cock the rifle, just here. And it's resettable. Loading the rifle is very easy. You slide back this synthetic catch here and you pull the under lever down. And as I do that, you'll notice the gate on top opens all the way back till you hear the click. There you go. And the bear trap is engaged. So that will not move until I push that slide selector switch forward. Then you can go ahead and load your pellet into the breech. You slide the selector switch forward and the under lever re-engages. And that's it, simple as. With the breech open, you can see the nicely crowned top of the barrel. If I turn the rifle the other way, you can see where the crown of that barrel engages with the mechanism of the rifle. The bluing on top of the rifle and barrel is a really nice high quality finish. There's an 11 mm dovetail rail on top and an anti-creep guard. The XS38 comes with onboard True Glow fibre sights, which are adjustable for windage and elevation, and they're ideal for a bit of tin can plinking. but add a quality scope and mount, and this rifle really comes alive. We're going to do the accuracy part of the video now, which is the bit everyone's been waiting for. And as part of that accuracy, I'm gonna tell you about pellet choice with this rifle. Pellet choice is very important. If you want to hit tin cans all day long, use a budget pellet. It's absolutely fine for that, out to about 15 yards. If you want to go further, use a more premium pellet. In fact, the softer the lead in the pellet, the better. And practice. Practice is super important with this rifle. I've been shooting it now for about four months. Around three or four times a week, I come up here and I fire a few shots. And every time the rifle comes to me more and more, I get to feel where the trigger is, where the shot breaks. I get to know the rifle and feel the rifle. It is a raw power springer but it's incredibly accurate. But you will need to practice, practice, practice. Now I'm gonna show you what it can do. At 15 yards, I've got a lovely six mil group. Granted, I've got the one outside of the six mil group. That's me, I'm not perfect. At 26 yards, I shot three cards. On the first one, that gives something a bit of a headache. After I captured that on camera, I think I got a little bit overexcited and my shooting went a little bit awry. So I went away and I had another cup of tea and I came back and I had another go. And that's what I got. My final 26 yard group of the day, 1.1 centimeters across. Very happy with that. I haven't finished. The XS38 is capable of a lot more. That's 50 yards right down there. Let's see what we can do. The spinners at the end of my 50 yard range 
are four centimeters wide and the XS38 can hit them with ease. I still haven't finished. This wooden dowel is four centimetres high, but it's only 0.7 centimetres wide. Can I hit that? Yes, I can. The SMK XS38 will give you anywhere between 600 and 650 feet per second from your pellets, depending on which ones you use. It also weighs four kilos, minus the scope. And it's fan-flipping-tastic. I've put thousands of pellets through this, and it's worked faultlessly every time. The build quality is fantastic. 150 pounds this retails at. It feels like a lot more, there's no movement, there's no looseness to it. And I say again, after thousands of pellets, it's as sturdy as a rock. It's power, raw power, and it's power that needs to be tamed. And I've tamed it, and it makes me feel like king of the jungle. And it's staying in my gun cabinet. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.